everyone welcome back to my channel this is prepping by faith and today i wanted to talk to you guys about do we need gas masks i know that is something that everybody is starting to toss around in the prepping community um, with everything that's going on with russia and ukraine and the possibility of nuclear um, conflict we won't use that word um, so i just kind of wanted to touch on this um, i know that these things can get very pricey i've looked at them myself they are at least 250 dollars on average plus another 70 dollars for um, cartridges and if you have more than one family member i have four that's going to get um, very expensive very quickly so i wanted to come up with another solution for those of us that feel like we're maybe being priced out of prepping for something like that and also for those of us that may have children that we feel like would not be okay um, putting on something like that, um, that is a lot more difficult to get on a child than a regular N95 or something like that. Um, and I know for myself, I'm claustrophobic, so it's not something that I would be super comfortable with. So what I've come up with today um, is just a different al um, alternative for you. But first I wanna mention, um, if you guys missed part three of my nuclear attack planning series, in that video I discussed the fact that you need to have heavy duty plastic sheeting, you need to have duct tape, and you need to have a vent cover for your AC unit in order to protect um, your home from those radioactive dust particles entering it in the first place. So please check that out if you haven't. That's one of the first steps that we're gonna be taking to keep um, as much of that dust from entering our home as possible. And then I wanted to mention that you also wanna have goggles. You need something to protect your eyes because if you're not gonna have that full face shield for your face that comes with a um, gas mask, you're gonna need goggles for every family member. And then we've got here just some N95 masks. Now they don't make N95s um, for children. They make them in KF94s though. So I got these on Amazon. I got a size small for my youngest um, and then I got a size medium for my older child. So I will link those in the description box for you guys. Um, and we know that these aren't gonna filter out all of those particles, right? Like a gas mask. This is just, you know, extra protection for us. So what I feel like would be the game changer is this air purifier that I have right here. This is a Viva 8000 um, Pro Elite, um, and it only operates on 40 watts of power per hour on high, okay? So if you have yourself a generator, which I'm hoping the, the majority of us do at this point, um, and if you haven't, you need to be saving for one because you're gonna need it for many things um, to do with prepping when you have power loss. You could run this um, off of a generator, off of a 1000 for at least 24 hours. I would suggest if you can afford to do so, getting one that's a little bit um, higher wattage than that. Um, we have a Blue Eddy um, 2400 watt. So something like this could be run for 48 hours. And that's gonna be very crucial because we know that with um, radioactive fallout dust, that that starts decaying quickly in that 24 to 48 hour period. So we wanna at least be able to get through that 48 hour period. I did wanna mention that the fallout particles are gonna contain alpha and beta radiation. We know that gas masks um, cannot protect us from gamma radiation. That is a whole different ball game, which is why we need to be um, sheltered and putting as much material between ourselves and that sort of radiation as possible. Um, I did wanna mention that um, they did a test on the Fukushima uh, fallout dust, the radiation particles from that. And they found that they were between 1.5 and 1.6 microns. Now this unit will filter out um, particles as small as 0.3 microns, which is, I feel like, really good. And this is definitely gonna help pull that stuff out of the air in your space. Um, it is good for a 325 square foot area. Um, it does come with the extra filters. Amazon has it right now for $100 and then they have a $15 off coupon. So you could get that for about $85 plus tax right now. So that's something that I think we should consider with everything that's going on. And I feel like this is gonna be a cheaper alternative um, for those of us out there that don't feel like we can afford to spend money on gas masks right now. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.